You guys, it's my 2017 planner setup. I am so excited to be sharing this with you all. I know so many of you have been asking me about this and waiting for it. So thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time with me, my name is May. I am a lawyer, an entrepreneur, and I make these YouTube videos because I love them. And I'm so appreciative of you being here. I'm gonna say this because this has become the norm now. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this. Um, as many of you know, YouTube is messing everything up. Um, they are not working with us content creators at all and it's just really affecting our views and our subscriptions and everything's just going crazy because of this new algorithm. So I would really, really appreciate it if you would please like this video. Let's get started. Okay, this is my 2017 planner setup. Now, this is part of a series, so I do have a video talking about how I'm getting ready for 2017 um, and how to choose a planner and all this stuff. So what I'm doing to get ready and then some different options. So this 2017 prep series, um, I created a playlist for it, so I'll link that down below so you guys can see um, everything, see all the videos that are in the series on getting ready for 2017. So this is my setup. I am using this beautiful gold Safiano Filofax. This is the A5 size. If you're totally new to planning and organization, then I have a lot of different videos that explain the sizing, different options, all that kind of stuff. So feel free to leave me any questions you have down below, but I'm not gonna review all that right now. Um, as you can see, something happened to it. It just got like a little scuff mark, which I am sad about. But other than that, I love this thing. It's this beautiful gold color. I know it's probably not showing up. Um, I'm filming with like a combo of studio lights and natural light. So I don't know how well this lighting is gonna like show you. Yeah, it's like messing with everything right now. No, that's a pretty shot. Um, it's this beautiful gold Safiano. I don't know if it's leather or not. But anyway, I love it. Filofax sent me this. Thank you, Filofax. Um, all right, let me show you guys what's inside. If you are a longtime follower of mine, you know that I go back and forth with these six ring binders. Sometimes I love using them, other times I don't. Um, I just, I change my organization system around a lot. And that's something that works for me. Um, it doesn't work for everyone, I realize that, but um, it really works for me and I have to do that. Like I have to change things up. So I hope that this gives you guys some ideas, but if I could tell you anything, it is that to be flexible with yourself and um, with your systems and to do whatever works best for you. So you can watch my video, you can watch a thousand other setup videos on YouTube, but at the end of the day, you have to do what works for you. Okay, let's get started. I This intro is way too long. Okay, um, the only thing I don't like about this is that they put silver rings in a beautiful gold binder. So I haven't seen any Filofaxes that have gold rings, but they should have done that. They should have put the gold rings in. Um, I don't mind mixing metals, like I like to do it in my jewelry, but I just feel like this one would have been so much more luxe and chic if they would have put the gold rings in. But other than that, I love this binder. Um, I like to keep things really simple, really chic. You guys know that, um, just really clean. So in this front pocket, I just have this card from um, Cloth and Paper. I love Cloth and Paper. Actually, these sticky notes are from there as well. I don't know if it's coming up, but this is like a beautiful blush color. Um, absolutely love it. So I just keep it really, really clean and put these two um, in this front pocket. And then I have this really pretty pink clip skeleton clip also from cloth and paper um this is not sponsored by them but i just love ashley and her shop and so i love all her planner supplies and then i have just a couple of like extra little notepads tucked away in here if i need to make a list on the go all right for my dashboard i am using one of these top loading envelopes this came with the filofax itself and what i did was just use the other side of this like front sheet that came with the filofax and I stuck this sticker on here. It says, this year I will. And then at the bottom it just says 2017. This sticker is something that I um, created and designed. It's part of my um, sticker set. I create sticker sets. Um, I started earlier this year because I wanted beautiful, chic, luxurious planner stickers and I wasn't finding them anywhere. All the ones that I was seeing um, and still continue to see are just really like 
cutesy kind of cheesy designs which I think are cute to look at but I would never put them in my planner I really wanted very classic chic stickers that I could use and like wouldn't be embarrassed to like pull out at work and so I create my own stickers I have them available um, as digital downloads super easy to print off and cut out and use I have an entire video detailing the process it is seriously so easy so um, if you see any stickers in here that you like, um, be sure to check out my shop so you can pick them up. This Best Yet sticker is also part of the 2017 sticker set. But anyway, I haven't filled this out here just because I didn't want to share um, my like goals or like my vision board um, on YouTube, but I will fill this out and this will be my dashboard and the first thing that I see when I open my planner so that um, I am reminded of the things that I'm working on this year. So as you can see, I just slipped that into the top and this is my dashboard. And then on the other side of it, I just have this um, to-do notepad, which is also from Cloth and Paper. And it's just on the other side of this um, top loading envelope. And I'm just gonna put sticky notes on here of like my to-do list. This cute little journaling card says BRB. I'm obsessed with this thing. Also from Cloth and Paper, I just stuck um, one of these note tabs and then like hole punched them. Like you can see, I just put it, um, like washi taped it on the back because I didn't want to mess up this journaling card and like punch it. So I can just use this. If you guys use Erin Condren um, and they try to sell you those like coil clips, you can just make your own just like this. I have a video talking all about how you can customize spiral ring binders and um, add these things to them like spiral notebooks. Um, but it's super simple. Next is this daily little reminders um, that I have attached to my first divider. So this is also part of my 2017 set, but these are things that I want to be working on in the new year. So I wanna really make sure that I'm welcoming opportunities for growth. I'm waking up early, um, 30 minutes earlier to get things done. I'm building community learning about money and saving daily and taking small steps and remembering that those always add up. Um, I really believe in thinking bigger than ourselves um, and just kind of contributing to community. Um, always remember to be proactive, not reactive. Speak in the affirmative because I believe that our thoughts become our reality. So again, this is a sticker that's available um, in my 2017 set and I just printed it and then um, I decided not to stick it onto here because again, these um, are my dividers and so I might wanna like move it around. So I just attached it with washi tape. So my tab dividers are again from Cloth and Paper. I love this set. Um, Ashley was sweet enough to send this to me. But the first tab says the grind and this is where I'm keeping my um, actual calendar pages. So these are just the ones that came with Filofax. I love that they're vertical. Now I do keep a digital calendar. Um, earlier this year, I added a digital component to my organization and honestly, I have not looked back. Um, I love having that. My work includes a lot of various appointments that move around and um, I'm just, I have a lot of things happening every day. So there's no way that I would be able to write all my appointments on here. So my intention for these calendar pages is to use them as a daily to-do list. So I will still keep my Google Calendar and look at my appointments on there. And then I'll be using this bullet journal style, which again, if you're totally new to organization and aren't familiar with bullet journals, I will leave a playlist down below of all my bullet journal videos so you can check that out. Um, it's a cool concept. You guys know if you've been with me for a while. Sometimes I love the bullet journal. Sometimes I can't stand it. So I don't know. Right now I'm into it. All right, the next tab says socialite and this is my social media calendar or not calendar, sorry, it's my social media section. And I just put some of these pretty colored pages from Filofax in here. I just have this clear ruler and here I'm gonna be keeping track of my YouTube ideas um, as well as blog posts. I love this little gold sticker here. And then um, newsletters, I wanna be, I'm gonna be sending this out um, once a month. So if you're not subscribed to my list, be sure that you are because um, I send out coupon codes as well as like fun tidbits, artic interesting articles, like little love letters from me. Um, I really try to keep my newsletters like fun and interesting and not annoying. I try not to send them too often, so um, be sure you subscribe to that. And then um, this is my page where I'm gonna keep track of stats. This little aviator sunglasses um, sticker is from my line of stickers, I designed it. Anyway, and then I just have 
um, extra paper in here. All right, and then I have this tab up here. Um, it was one of these Martha Stewart tabs that I just covered with silver glitter washi tape. And this is called Motivational AF. So this tab is going to be for my monthly themed pages are in here. So if you caught my um, video on how I'm preparing for 2017, I talked in there about um, how I'm going to theme each month. So instead of, I mean, I, I will set goals, but really what I wanna do is um, focus on one specific area of my life every month. You can also do this per quarter. Um, you know, it's up to you how you wanna structure it, but I just think that helps to kind of add focus to um, my days and also helps to prevent overwhelm. So I'm not just like looking at these big goals and being like, how the heck am I gonna get all this done? So what I did was create a page for each month. Um, or sorry, I just did a front and a back. Um, and again, these month stickers are from my designs. And you guys, I'm I'm like including these things because I actually use them. And I hope that you guys can see that I created and designed these stickers because I they actually are things that I wanted to use and they're actually helping me to be organized and um, successful and get things done. And so I created these stickers because I wasn't seeing them anywhere. So. I do actually use them and I, I am like including them because they're actually things that I think are functional and useful, but I still think they can be really beautiful as well. So you can see um, it says theme here. Again, this is part of my 2017 set, but my theme for each month, um, I'll list it here. And then I'm just gonna list like either action steps or ideas, resources, whatever it is. I'm just gonna use one page per month and I'm gonna keep track of that here. Then I also love the idea of being able to go back at the end of the year and look at my months and what I accomplished, what I looked at, um, kind of just like keep it as a yearbook of sorts as well. So um, I'm just working on the first quarter right now. So January, February, and March. So if that's something that's interesting to you guys and you like that concept, be sure to check out um, my 2017, like how I'm preparing for it, getting ready for it. Um, video and then check out my sticker set because these are all included in there as well. All right, the next tab says girl gang and I'm just using this as my to-do list. So I'm gonna keep um, like a master task list that of things that I need to get done. So this might be for bigger projects or things like that. And then I'll pull from this list and put it in my like daily calendar pages. So this will be just kind of bigger things that I wanna get done. I'm not gonna keep like grocery lists or anything like that on here, but like bigger ideas and projects, tasks that I need to work on will live here. The next tab says moolah, and you guessed it, this is my finance tab. So again, I just put um, the sticker up here that says money, and I feel like I'm pretty good with managing my money, but I want to start paying more attention to like investments and things like that. So um, I'm just kind of, keeping that as a general theme. I haven't really thought through exactly yet what I'm gonna do with money um, or how I wanna like study it or incorporate um, these resources into my life, but I just know that I wanna kind of keep money at the forefront um, of my thoughts and like projects and things. So I just have a tab, you know, dedicated to that and we'll see kind of what shape that takes. But um, I do think that especially for women, being educated about money is so extremely important. I can't say it enough. I do have a financial um, video that I'd love for you guys to check out because I just think it's so, so important um, to be educated. So that's that tab. And then I just have, you know, some pages in here. And then this last one says whatevs and it just goes into some note pages so that I can, um, you know, just keep keep this for random notes. And then I've included this zipper pocket in the back and I just use this to store my stickers and I'll show you guys um, some of these stickers because I love them so much. I um, am just really proud of these designs and um, again, like I said, I, there are things that I created because I felt like there was a need and a void in the marketplace for them. Um, and plus they're just like so freaking cute and chic and things that like you won't be embarrassed to use. The aesthetic is very similar to like Sugar Paper LA um, or things like that. So if you like that design aesthetic, then definitely check out my um, line of stickers for your planner. And then also get excited because there's so many cool new products that are coming, you guys. 
seriously, I can't wait for 2017. Um, and I'm so glad you guys are on this journey with me. So anyway, just some fun things like out of office, these little coffee mugs. I love these bobby pins that say, that say hair did. Like I love that for a hair appointment. Um, these envelopes that say do, you can use for like bills and things. Peace out. There's a bunch of like page flags in there. And um, you can print these on clear labels and then it'll be so much easier for you to cut them out. So you don't have to use um, like a Cricut or anything like that to cut these out. So like I said, I have a whole video talking about um, my stickers and um, like how easy it is to print them and use them. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick. So, oh my gosh, I have to show you this too. It's so freaking cute. This is one of my favorites. This is a beautiful nail polish bottle and it says lunch meeting. Like, are you kidding? Like you're going, tell your boss that you're going on a lunch meeting, but really you're going to get a mani-pedi. Love it, okay. Um, and then in the back, oh, and these makeup stickers, love these. Um, okay, and then in the back, I just have this to-do um, notepad. And again, this is from Ashley's Shop Cloth and Paper. So I will link that down below for you guys. I just love this daily reminders so much. Like I think, um, this is probably my favorite part of the 2017 sticker set. It's just, I think these are these are the things that are gonna be the forefront of my mind. Um, and I love having them here that I can see it and access it and um, just be exposed to it daily. And then also this, this year I will. If you guys saw my 2016 set, um, I kind of listed some things here for you all, but I decided this year to split them up. So this year I'm including these daily little reminders, which these are the things that I think are important but I wanted to make sure and give you guys a space to um, be able to put the things that are important to you down. So that is it. Oh, let me show you guys my pen. I am using this gorgeous thing from Cloth and Paper. Again, it writes in black, but it's like a really chic white pen. So love this. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it gives you some ideas for setting up your planner. But again, like I said, do what is best for you and what helps you get organized. You guys, please share this video. I would appreciate it so much. Um, I know it can be annoying when YouTubers ask you to share or like, but um, we need you guys. We need your help. So thank you so much for sharing and liking and subscribing. Um, and if you think that my content would be helpful for someone else, maybe you and your girlfriends are trying to get organized for the new year, then please do share my content. I would appreciate it so, so much. And check out my other videos. And I hope that you'll stick around and join my community because we... Um, we really are a community and we have so much fun. So thank you for watching so much. I'm wishing you all the very best in 2017 um, or whenever you watch this video. Really, I think these ideas are timeless. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Take good care. Let me know if you have a planner setup video. Um, link it down below or if you share it on Instagram, then tag me on Instagram so I can see your setup. I would love, 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 love to see it. Okay, take care you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.